So now that you've made your teddy bear embroidery, you've changed the step fill patterns, direction of stitches, and even changed colors. You're ready to save your design for your embroidery machine. If any part of your design is still selected, simply left click outside the work area and take a look at your design. Make sure that you have the right patterns, colors, directions before you save your design. Once you're ready, go up to the word File and go to Save As. When you go to Save As, you want to make sure you remember where you are saving your design, which file folder it's in. That way when you send to your machine, you can remember where it is, or if you want to make more changes, you can also remember where it is. Then come down to the bottom of the window and see where it says Save As Type. The Drawings file, or the .draw file format, is the first file format that comes up and it's the native format for creative drawings. It's very important that if you want to make changes to your design later that you save as this draw file format. I recommend that every time you make a design you save it as the draw file format and then save it for your machine. So today we're going to first save as the draw file format where it says file name Go ahead and type in my teddy bear. Again, with the draw file format selected, simply click Save. So now you've saved as the draw format, go up to the word File and Save As again. Let's now save as your sewing machine file format. Click on that upside down arrow next to where it says Save as Type and then you're going to see many different file formats to choose from. Today let's save as the Janome Jeff format. Make sure it says still says My Teddy Bear in the file name and click Save. File has been saved successfully for your sewing machine. Go ahead and click OK. And now simply take the design from your computer over to your sewing machine, how your manufacturer actually tells you to do so, whether it be with a card or a serial cable or a USB cable or a USB stick. However it is, use what your sewing machine manufacturer tells you to do. And that's it. It's real easy to make designs with the Creative Drawing software. Come back for Lesson 2 when we're going to add lettering and a symbol to your teddy bear. And don't forget to go to creative-drawings.com to download this lesson and other lessons so you can follow along with these recordings. And you'll also get more information on Creative Drawings. Have fun with your embroidery and the creative drawing software.